Declan, welcome to Ross County. How have you found your, your first few days here in Dingwall? It's been good to be fair. I think I've settled into the group really well. Uh, the lads have taken to me, the gaff has taken to me, all the coaching staff. and So yeah, I feel really happy to be here now and I uh, just can't wait to get going. Tell us a bit about how the move came about and, and your kind of initial ideas when it was being floated to you that this could be a potential move. Uh, well, I spoke to Jack to be fair, he said he spoke to a few people, um, he said that Ross County were asking about me and then it became 24 hours really where I heard from Ross County and that's when I knew it was concrete and then I thought, let's go, it, um, it happened really quickly, it happened over the weekend so I, I, Jack told me on the Friday and I think it was the Saturday that it was all confirmed and stuff like that so I come down on the Sunday and then I knew then I'd be coming to uh, be a Ross County player. Does knowing the connection between the two clubs, obviously this time last year Josh Reid moved down to Coventry and in the summer Jack Butters has come up, does that connection between the two clubs make it that little bit easier for you in coming up to Dingwall? Of course it makes it easier because talks are just plain sailing and there's no faffing around as, as they say so um, yeah it made that a lot easier, it made it a lot easier for me to make a decision because I had points of references who I could talk to and I can ask what the club was like and things like that and they were all very complimentary so it was a no brainer for me. And I'd imagine Josh Reid would have been very complimentary about uh, his hometown. He can't not really can he do you know what I mean, um, he's been here for years it's his hometown so yeah he was very complimentary and he really, really sold it to me, well he didn't have to sell it to me to I, know a lot about, I knew a lot about the club, what the league was like and things like that, so yeah, it was an easy decision as I've said. Uh, if we look back, you've been part of two successful promotions at Tranmere and obviously last season at Cambridge. For being only 22, you've really embraced the men's game and getting out there and playing in the competitive men's environment? Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. I, I've uh, played a big part more so last year in the promotion uh, with Cambridge in the second half of the season. So I think that's a valuable experience which I can bring to here and things like that. And I think that's why the gaffer brought me here because I had that little bit of experience. Um, of course, I want to gain more now coming here and playing for Ross County. So, yeah. You made your competitive debut at only 17 years old at Tranmere. When you come in at such a young, young age into that environment, does that even give you bigger determination to want to exceed when you've already shown that you can compete at that level at that age? Of course, yeah. When I was 17 and I made my debut, and I walked out for the very first time, the fans, everyone singing, it just makes you more and more hungry for that match day feeling and I think obviously I've missed out on, on that obviously last season there was no fans so that's one thing I'm looking forward to now getting the fans back in and things like that and as you said exceeding now I'm, I'm uh, striving for more. This will be your fourth loan since you've joined Coventry how important has it been to you in your development to get out there and just play games? Massively. I wouldn't be in this position now if, if I didn't go out and play games, I wouldn't be able to come to Scotland and play at the top flight if I didn't go out and gain those experiences, you know. Um, not every loan's been great but you learn as you go on and um, at the last loan I was on was very positive and I'm looking to build on that now and have another very f successful loan here. Each club obviously offers different environments, different players, different setups. How does that bed into to use a young player when you see so much in a short space of time from the likes of Solihull, Gillingham, Cambridge as well as Coventry and Tranmere before that as well. It's massive isn't it because as you've said every club is different and that's what you gain your experience from, the different experiences, the different challenges and every loan has been a different challenge, everyone's striving for different things, different points at my career where I'm learning things still and um, so yeah as you said everyone's different and I'm just looking forward to embracing this one now. Tell us what player we can expect to see on, on the pitch. A very, I've said this before, a very committed player, passionate player, someone who wants to win every game, will put his body on the line, but will also do the other pretty side of the game, as they say, getting the ball down and play, passing into midfield and making things happen from the back. You're going to be pitting yourself in some of the biggest arenas in the world in terms of Ibrox Celtic Park over the coming months against the best players that, that Scotland have to offer. 
does that almost give you the incentive to try and showcase everything you possibly can in those arenas? Of course, it, there's no bigger stage, is there really, than going to Celtic Rangers, you know, some of the biggest clubs in Europe. So if, I, I'm just grateful I've been given the chance to do that and I just can't wait to do that. But it's not about that as well, it's about just developing and in these games here at Ross County, you know, this is our home stadium, we want to make this a fortress for the second half of the season. So we've got the big boys to come in and we want to really make, make that count. Finally, Dick, when you're up here in the Highlands, you have time now to, to focus on you, your game, your development, improving yourself. How important is that going to be to, to almost just have that freedom to focus on Declan? I think that was one of the main reasons I come here. I needed to get out of a bubble of being back in, being in touching distance of, of home home. Um, and that was one thing I wanted to do, come and challenge myself, being away from any distractions, being, as you said, focused fully on Declan. Um, and I think I'm embracing that really well in the first week I've been here now, I love it here. Um, it's been a very good week, first week and I'm just hoping to build on that now and I think that taking that step will make me go to the next level. Declan, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Cheers.